Let's get salty! Hey everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video on Wizbeg's Workshop Card Review. We got priest cards and uh, we have Psychic Scream is back, basically. Roz is back. My worst nightmares are back. Actually, I loved Roz and Anduin, but Psychic Scream is back. We're going to go over these cards. I think you're going to learn to hate them or maybe love them. We're going to review them if you want to win these cards. We have three Mega Bundles, two regular pre-orders I'm giving away out of my pocket to enter the giveaway. Like and comment on the video. Link to the description below. The one with that thumbnail over there. Be subscribed to the channel. Every thousand subs we get until all the cards are revealed on Saturday. I will add another Mega Bundle. So hit that sub button, make me go broke. So yeah, um, these some of these cards are kind of triggering me, uh, but we're gonna go over them. Starting off with a new three drop for priest, the paper craft angel, a three mana two five that just has the passive effect of your hero power costs zero. So if you're playing, you know, priests, you can heal up for zero. Um, in wild, since Dark Bishop Benedictus is rotating, your whole Shadow Form Mind Spike, or I can't remember what it's called anymore, um, that'll deal zero. Shadow Reaper Anduin, hero power would deal zero, all that stuff, right? Your hero powers deal zero, pretty crazy. And um, yeah, it's just a fine effect. Um, you'll see later when we take a look at Raza, why that might be more relevant, because yes, Raza is hero power dependent again. Again, um, it just seems okay. I feel like it only makes sense in more of like a combo style thing where you want to, again, you'll see with Raz where you want to pop off with like maybe a Reno or something like that. But you can also just get some value with your hero power over heal. Could use some, maybe get that zero many hero power, you buff this up and you can overheal things. I'm gonna give it a two out of five. I don't think even if like in a big pop off thing, it might make that much sense, but maybe it will. We'll see. Um, a two out of five in standard and a two out of five in wild, where you already have uh, the Reno Raza that can make your hero power cost zero, plus I think a weapon that can make your hero power cost zero, and those are fine. They see play, but I just feel like this is probably the worst of those uh, options. Next, we have the Careless Crafter, a three mana, three, three minion death rattle. Get two zero cost bandages that restore three health. And they're just like that. They have zero mana, restore three health, uh, no spell school or anything like that, but um, that can discount, you know, at least a wild like giants or the, I think they're, the, lately they got the whole, um, uh, I can't remember the taunt, the seven, eight taunt, you can cheat out what spells cost. But again, I look at this as like an overheal card, right? You get zero mana, heal three, can just slap that onto an overheal card, whether it's like dealing damage and AOE or whatever, that could be really good. You could just heal yourself. That can be fine too, if you need that healing. I feel this slots into an overheal deck. Um, it's very, like two of them is pretty good. And um, you do, there's zero mana. I just feel like overheal priest has had some decent showings. It hasn't been top tier yet, but it's been close. And a card like this can help a lot. All, and it's a three mana three, three that restores you for three health twice. So it's gotta be a three. It's literally on the card. So I'll give it a three in standard. And yeah, in wild, I'll give it a two, probably not making the cut. Um, next we have here, um, Chalk Artist. This card is pretty insane. It is a four mana, four, three epic. Battle Cry, you draw a minion, you transform it into a random legendary one, keeping its original stats and costs. And I have a video of what it looks like. So here it goes. So yeah, I can see there like a two mana cage heads, pretty nuts. And the thing that's kind of cool about the card is if you get um, basically anything, anything at all, you get for cheap or whatever, you can play it and then you can bring it back with Rod N and it'll come back with the original stats, not the the different ones, right? The original stats and costs. So um, Rod Den fuel, a scam generator possibly, although you could draw your Rod Den and then you lose that. So uh, kind of a crazy thief, kind of burglish style like thief priest card a little bit not really i guess but random crap priest i don't know if it sees play but it is a pretty sweet epic i'll give it a three maybe those scams can be that good you just play a bunch of low cost minions and just hope to hit something crazy I, I don't know again you can't get a titan this way titans will not be available or any triple rune cards if there's a, again i don't think there's a triple rune minion in standard but I'll give it a three in standard and probably like, yeah, a one in wild where this is like egregiously, egregiously slow. And yeah, I was not clickbaiting. Uh, Psychic Scream is back in standard, but it is a bit different. We have, well, it's actually been repackaged. It is repackaged. 
a seven mana epic spell, you stuff all minions into a two cost box, then shuffle it into the opponent's deck. Again, I have a video to show what that looks like. So again, it's like Psychic Scream where you shuffle all your minions into your opponent's deck. However, instead of them getting like five or six, seven minions, like just spread out through their deck, helping them in fatigue, but also making their draws worse, it's put into one box. So if they get that, they can open it and then get all the minions. Like it doesn't, they get that one draw, they get all the minions back, but they have to spend mana on it. And if they have like a big full hand, they might not be able to get some of that stuff and maybe they want it, who knows? But yeah, it's a seven mana effectively mass board clear that deals with death rattles and all that type of stuff, just like Psychic Scream, because nothing dies. It's all stuffed into this box. And let's say you're playing Reno Priest, you play Repackage into Reno. That is really, really strong. Psychic Scream was one of the best AoEs like ever in Hearthstone. And I think this will be too. And the, um, yeah, I'm just giving this a five out of five, like five out of five in standard. Uh, Control Priest absolutely plays this. It's disgustingly good. And in Wild, I'll give it a three because like you don't really see that much Psychic Scream anymore. Um, I feel like Scream is probably better than this on average just because you screw up the draws more. It's really close, right? But yeah, I can't believe they're like just disgusting. Why? Why Blizzard? You're triggering me with this card. And lastly, we have the return of Raza. Raza the Resealed. A five mana five five. This does not require no duplicates or anything like that. It straight up has battle cry for the rest of the game. Your hero power refreshes whenever you play a card. So it's like Shadow Reaper Anduin would do that, right? You would play your eight mana hero card and it would get that effect with it as well as destroying five cost minions. But yeah, with Raza, you can play this and then play Reno, right? And then you could redo the Reno hero power every time you play a card, or you could couple it with a new three mana card we just took a look at that cost zero, and you could try and do a massive Reno, maybe an OTK turn. Remember, there's also that new card, the new mech that allows your hero power to go off twice every time you hit it. So you could couple that for five mana, and maybe just do a wombo combo, Raza Anduin style of OTK from Wild, right? I feel like this exclusively sees play right now in uh, Reno decks. You, I think your regular hero power, probably not worth getting those heals. Maybe Overheal likes that, but certainly in a Reno deck that plays Reno Lone Ranger and has that ability to maybe, I mean, you get the refresh one. I don't know if it cycles through the hero power or you would just like infinitely refresh until you're out of cards almost deal. Like, I guess you have still have to have the mana to play, but that's, that's pretty nuts. Like this is a really scary card and Reno Priest has not been doing that great. And I feel like this card can absolutely put it over the top and it's not shut off by like plagues or anything like that. It just works whether you're a Highlander deck or not. And we also know why uh, Dark Bishop Benedict is probably rotated out of the core set because uh, yeah, that's pretty busted there too. So yeah, in standard, I'm gonna give this a five out of five. I think this just opens up some degeneracy, some pretty crazy stuff, particular Reno Priest in and wild. Maybe you just don't bother with Shadow Reaper and Anduin anymore. You just play both Razas. You don't need Anduin. You just play Raza into Raza. You have a zero mana hero power that refreshes whenever you play a card. Although it doesn't deal damage, but you're playing Shadow Priest, you are dealing damage. Dark Bishop Benedictus is there. I'm giving it a five in wild too. This is a rare card where I'm gonna give it a five out of five in both formats because I think it just, it's pretty nuts. It's pretty insane. And um, I'll probably be wrong on it as usual. We'll see. But yeah, Raza is back in a big, big way. And look out for a lot more pew pewing from hero powers, whether it's Reno or Dark Bishop Benedictus in your near future. Also, Raza comes with his new signature. Like it's like kind of packaged up and it's been resealed, I guess. So yeah, that signature will go live with the expansion as well. So yeah, what an insane. Priest needed some good stuff to set in this first half already. Really good cards. And we still have more Priest cards to go over later today. So stay tuned for that. I can't imagine it gets much crazier than this, can it? I don't know, we'll find out. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day and stay salty, my friends.